This is encouraging. Um, a lot of times people get upset because sometimes uh, people get hung up on stuff. And you can't let it go. Jared Kushner, who is um, who was very close to MBS, right? They huddled multiple times. Uh, are the Saudis bailing out the Kushner family? Um, they, do we know that? Yeah, they, they invested with how much? In Blackstone. In Blackstone. Yeah. And what about that 666? Right. In, uh, I don't know about 666. Uh, so uh, the Kushner family has done quite well uh, with the MBS. Uh, Mohammed bin Salman, he is the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. Um, shall we uh, check in on the... Uh, is he the crown prince technically, Jared Kushner of our country? Or They're in similar positions. Very similar position. He is the... Uh, son-in-law of the president and uh here he is on uh the president's uh personal spokesperson's show sean hannity uh talking about how the white house has moved on from the murder of jamal khashoggi and uh that's that and another area i know that you've been interested in is the middle east uh you've been on a number of trips you've been to jordan egypt uh, Israel, Saudi Arabia, you have talked to all these people. It seems like there's a moment where there is a new alliance or coalition emerging uh, against Iranian hegemony and a potentially nuclear-armed Iran. Um, has that process been hurt as a result of the Khashoggi killing? What is the status? I know 17 individuals are being held responsible. Um, and do you feel that we will get to the bottom of it if we haven't already? Uh, I think our intelligence agencies are making their assessments and we're hoping to make sure that there's justice brought where that should be. Uh, we're focused now on the broader region, which is, uh, which is figuring out how to uh, hopefully bring a deal together between the Israelis and the Palestinians. That conflict has gone on for way too long. Uh, the president's been very focused on trying to bring all the different parties together. And we're hopeful in the next couple of months we'll put out our, our plan, which, again, not every side is going to love, but there's enough in it uh, and enough reasons why people should take it and move forward. And uh, this this plan will keep the Israeli people safe, give them a good future, but also give a real opportunity and hope for the Palestinian people so that they can live much better lives. The, I've been saying a lot that uh, there you shouldn't be hijacking your children's future because of your grandparents' conflict. And this is a conflict that's been going on for way too long. And the way that people are living in Gaza and in the West Bank right now uh, is not acceptable. And there's a lot we can be doing to improve their quality of life. But it comes with resolving some of these core issues. And it's not just the Israelis that want it. It's not just the Palestinian people who want it. It's all the people I speak to throughout the entire Middle East who would like to see this issue resolved so that they can start focusing on uh, a brighter future. Wait, I'm sorry. What was the question again about Khashoggi? Um, someone should get on the phone to Jared Kushner and tell him that the CIA has made their assessments, that the intelligence agencies have all come back and they have apparently audio tape that Donald Trump himself said, I don't want to listen to because it's, I don't need to. I've been told what it says. It's tough stuff on there. And they have reports that MBS was in direct contact. I think during the killing. What do you think is the durability of this supposed anti-Iran alliance that they keep trying to salvage in under all these discussions? Well, I think there I think that the durability of the anti-Iran uh, they didn't have to put it together. You know, the Saudis uh, were already in the Israelis. I mean, this is not um, this alliance. There's no holding this alliance together. Uh, the the issue is, can they bring the Europeans on board and. How will they ever convince anybody to to strike Iran? They could give the green light to Israel, but they know the American public is going to be like, we're not getting engaged in that. There's no way. Um, but they have a deep abiding interest in keeping not just Saudi Arabia as a close ally, but MBS, I, I mean, I think uh, we're going to hear a lot more in the next couple of weeks about um, the relationship between the Trump administration and the Saudis. I, I, th I just think there's a whole nother storyline that we are about to hear 
shortly. I don't know why. I, I, I think uh, it's going to happen soon, but I don't know.